in many parts of our country, people do not get regular water supply. Many places are supplied with water for two to three hours only. Even in big cities of Mumbai, Chennai and Delhi, not every locality gets regular supply of water. In some towns, the situation is still worse. Water is supplied through tankers only. Water is very scarce in the dry districts of Kutch, Rajasthan and drought-prone areas of Andhra Pradesh. Village women have to walk miles to bring water. The Himalayan glaciers are receding. And if this trend continues without checks, there will come a time when the snow-fed rivers will become just a trickle and will start depending on the rain. Think about what will happen then. People in ancient times were wise. They built baulis as they knew the importance of conserving water. Baulis are step wells or water reservoirs. Rainwater was collected in these. People use this water in the dry season. No one suffered from water shortage. These baulis also served as places of social gathering where people gathered and news was exchanged. Unfortunately, the baulis have turned into ruins now. The oldest existing Bauli is in Delhi, near the Qutub Minar. It was built in the 10th century. Now the old wisdom is coming back. Water conservationists are trying to revive and repair the old Baulis. Apart from using water as itself for drinking, bathing, washing, watering plants, etc. Do you know, we also use water for manufacturing products. This is the indirect use of water. Let us see how much water is consumed to manufacture some products. A 100 gram jar of instant coffee requires 8 liters of water. A newspaper requires 10 liters of water. A soda can requires 20 liters of water. A cotton shirt requires 150 litres of water. A car tyre requires 20,000 litres of water. Don't you think we should start recycling things to save water? There are many nations and states that share water sources mainly rivers. But the scarcity of water could spoil relations between them and create water-related conflicts. The international water law helps enable nations to peacefully share a river basin and the water it contains. 
Water is essential for all factors of life. So, it is our duty to conserve it.